on, y'all? We back at it again. I'm EJ. Yo, I'm Dave. What's up? Yo, what's going on? It's your main man, Vince, a.k.a. Mike Tice. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. So, you already know it's the Barbershop Talk Podcast, and we got another good one for you today. But before we hop into it, you know, I want to uh, I wanna ask the boys about something, man. Is it just me? Or is daylight savings time kicking y'all butts too, man? <laughs> man, that's yo, yo. This man, so my sleep off. I'm yawning. I'm tired when I ain't supposed to be tired. Man, I lie to you now. I be sitting at work probably about three thirty, three o'clock, and my eyes getting all heavy, man. <laughs> Look, <laughs> like last weekend, um, you know, we went out for my boss's birthday or whatever, um, and then Kia. Her nephew was being christened in Virginia. So we got up at like 6 o'clock the same night that the time change uh, happened. Boy, she drove up. We almost died. I drove back. We almost died. I'm outside the joint doing jumping jacks. (laughs) I had to get an energy drink. Man, yeah, it was bad off, boy. We was hit. Yeah, but it's rough, man. It is. Need an hour of sleep. Because when you think about it, you know, we all, I wake up about 6.30. That's really 5.30 now. Like, if you really sit down and do the math. Yeah, yeah. It's still 5.30. Yeah, it's 5:30. That's 5.30. And you don't even get no warning or nothing. Well, it just popped up on you, man. It popped up on me anyway. You just hop right into it. You just hop right into it. And what's interesting, I was talking to Nike about it, that um, I always thought that daylight savings time was for farmers. I don't know what y'all were taught. Or, um, you know, what y'all learned. But I thought it was because farmers needed more time in their day and more sunlight to prepare the crops and do all of that. Which would make sense. Because now at about 7, it started lightening up a little bit. And then they got all the way until 8.30, 9 o'clock to, uh, to do what they need to do. Me thinking now. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was taught that it was just the length of the business. I mean, it was, it was, we was close. Yeah. We about to, but it was the length of the work day for everybody. So now everybody can to make it to work and make it home when it's still light outside. Okay. That's, that's the, that's what I was taught. Um, and, you know, it's man made. So you're not getting any more hours. I mean, the day not getting longer or shorter because it's a man made. Like no other country uses daylight daylight saving time except for America. So right, uh, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna tell you what I thought. What you think it was? But I thought, like, don't laugh, don't laugh. I thought that it was just a tool to see if your football team was good or not, because you know, in November, you know, December, if you in the playoffs, <laughs> then you then you good. Like if if it's getting dark when you still practicing. And your team was good. That's what I always thought. Oh, okay. I see I see what you're saying. It's like, it's like a measurement tool. It's like a measurement tool. Hold on, what? If you were still playing when it got dark, you was good. Hold on, hold on. No, seriously, though. No. <laughs> seriously, though. No. Even in Newburgh. Think about hold it, Vince. Think about it. Yeah, if we, if we was on the road to the state championship and you were still playing at Thanksgiving, you knew that your team was, was uh, doing the right thing. Yeah, if right. you was home, if, if you had time to uh, go to Thanksgiving and eat and go out of town and stuff, you was a scrub. Hold on, y'all, are y'all, are you being serious, bro? Are you playing? Like I can't, like I can't tell. <laughs> I, can't, I can't tell if you're being serious. Me either. But I see, what, look, but I see where you coming from, though. <laughs> now nah, I do got a valid stupid point, though. You know what I'm saying? But now nah, I was just playing, but that dude kind of makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you think about it, yeah, yeah. when you think about it, I guess, man. it's I just like the NFL. Head. If you home at Christmas, you, yeah, you weak. You know <laughs> I, I, I guess. But what I got to do with, I don't understand. So you saying if I'm playing after dark, that means I'm nice. Yeah, that yeah. means in high school, for high school mainly. My yeah, dad. mainly high school, yeah. If you can make it to the time change, you're doing something right. Right. Oh, okay, okay. You saying that that the time change itself, not actually it being dark outside or light outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we okay. talking about that. If you make it to the time change, I, 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 say, I don't know what the, I don't know what y'all talking about. But I'm right, with you now. That kind of makes some stupid sense. Yeah, <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> some stupid ignorant sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Right. yeah. I hear you. That's all we saying. That's all we saying. All right, y'all. So we got a good topic for y'all. 
Uh, I got to see what the boys going to say about this one. Again, they don't know what I'm about to come up with, but I think it's a good one. So, most most dudes, I would say, uh, enjoy their fellas' time. And by that, I mean time with the homies. Okay. To just kick it, you know, with, uh, without their significant others or, or any lady friends around. And so, my question is, how much time, or excuse me, how much fellas' time do you need? And... And I'm, I'm gonna let Dave go because he already chopping at the bit. So I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna uh, try to put a little caveat on. I'm just gonna let him go ahead and hop on in. Hey, look. First of all, it's not only do I need some fellas time, and let me just say pause. And those, some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Other y'all may not. <laughs> but let me, uh, you know, not only do I need fellas time, but I need guilt free fellas time. I don't need to feel like I just escaped off the plantation because I'm trying to hang with the boys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know that. Because then, that need to triple my meter. You know what I'm saying? Man, man. It's like we, when you uh you want to spend a night at your homie's house when you was a little kid. You got to get your, your homie to ask your mama yeah, if it's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, I don't need to be asking the boys, hey, look, man, y'all butter her up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 yeah, right. You know, I, you know so... If I get some guilt free, then you know I can kick with the boys two, three nights a week, and I'm straight. And that don't have to be all night, you know. Particularly, really, I wanted to come in on the weekend, cause then we could hit the bar. You know, what I'm saying we could do something on, on that Friday or that Saturday. You know, Sunday I kind of, I kind of lay in the cut with the girl. You know, what I'm saying, but, but I, you know, I need two, three days a week. You know, three, four hours, and, and I'll be straight. You know, cause it's just really it's a stress relief. That's what it is. It's it's therapy. And I'll be trying to explain this to the girls, man. It's like, y'all want to go shopping or y'all want to uh, uh, watch Scandal or talk about Beyonce or, right, right. you know, whatever y'all do amongst y'all sales. We just want to kick it, uh, you know, play the game or, you know, talk about sports or whatever we do, you know what I'm saying? And, and we don't want to drink a beer, you know, it's just, it's just a little guy stuff. And we don't want to feel guilty about it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, I don't blame you, bro. Hey, Vince, what, what you think about that, man? Okay, what say Mr. V, though? Um, man, you got to have your fellas' time. Like, it's a must that you have your fellas' time. Because when you don't, then I get irritated. Because anybody that's married in a serious relationship, engaged or whatever, and either stay, stay with that significant other or they're all the time with that person, understand that look i i need a break i just need another scene i just need to be able to say what i want to say i need to be able to uh be myself i need to be able to drink a beer you know some some girls don't want their man to drink beer you know what i'm saying some girls don't want their man to play the game you know more than uh two sessions at it you know what i'm saying like you gotta like when i'm with the boys man i'm chilling i'm free you know what i'm saying we, we ain't doing nothing crazy we just laughing, we joking. We like to play the game. Me and my boys like the ball. We like to play cards. Like, but at the same time, if if it's not like Dave said, if it's not guilt free, then I'm like, man, ah, let me, let me, man, let me hurry. Up <laughs> <laughs> Can't even enjoy it like you want to. I, no, yeah, because you, man, man, she, man, I already, man, what time you got? Check your clock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm hoping she don't text me, man. Cause I ain't got time, <laughs> time for it right now. You know what I'm saying? You gotta start lying to the boys, like, man. Yeah, I'm probably gonna take it. On. <laughs> yeah. Take, take it on in. What you mean, take it in? Bro? Yeah. We just get started. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, man, you gotta have a fellow time, man. It's just like, I, I, man, it's a, it was a stress reliever, like Jay said. You, you know, it just, it just. When you come back, generally, when I come back from with the boys, I'm in a great mood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Like, for real, like, I'm in a great mood, you know what I mean? And um, I, I just think it's a must-have for somebody that's in a serious relationship or somebody that's with their uh, significant other, you know, uh, a lot of the time. Yeah, so I got two I got two questions for you, Vince. The first one being, you know, anybody who really know you know that you got multiple sets of friends. So for that fella's time, how much of it do you need for, like, your, your homies or your fellas that's out of town? Like it's it's one thing to have fellas time when you in Newburn. Hey, that's good. But when you want to like skip to DC or skip to Vegas or skip to Greensboro, three three six. You know how much of that time do you need? And then the second piece uh is 
is not having fellas time a deal breaker. Like if your girl will let you have fellas time, but she got to be there with you with the fellas time. <laughs> is it, and you can answer this too, Dave. Is that a deal breaker? Or is it like, man, I guess, bro, just come on. Dog. I ain't even going to argue. <laughs> we ain't even going to okay. do this tonight. Just come yeah, on. Right. I want to hear what you guys yeah. say, man. This is going to be good. All right. So if, so if I do have uh, about like three sets of friends that are all, they're all close to me. You know, I have a best friend, but then I have like uh, some sets that, you know, we, we still, they, they, they my you know I mean, real close friends. So if, if I want to have a grand time, I'm talking about like, a really, really good time. I had like a couple bad weeks, you know what I'm saying? You know, maybe me and the lady had, you know, got into an argument, and I'm like, you know what? Like, you know what I mean? I, I just, I, I need to go out of town. Like, so I need to let my hair down. Yeah. I think, to me, I, don't, I mean, and I'm, I'm always on the go. I, I tell the, I tell the road up. To me, it's a must that I get with. I'm talking about one of my out of town sets. About once a month. That's a must for me. You know what I'm saying? It's a must I give one of my out of town sets about once a month. Now, as far as my, my in town, like some of my guys that I got around here, I mean, so it's nothing for me to get with them every weekend. I I, 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 I see that I need to get with my homies, you know what I'm saying? Like they said, about twice a week. <laughs> that's, that's a must. And if, if I'm not booked up, you know, like I have like meetings and different organizations that I attend and different services and stuff, but if I'm not booked up, I'm going to get up with the homies on the weekend. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have my time in my life, but I'm going to get up with the boys on the weekend. That's just what's going to happen. I, I mean, and because I'm saying it like that, this is what's going to happen, then that, that goes on to question number two. If I can't have no fellas time, I can't have you. Uh, I don't even... I ain't even going to even get into detail and all that. Uh, if I can't, if I can't hang with the boys, then you know what I mean. We can just be cool. We can just have a little, uh, a little relations here and do what we got to do, whatever. But you would never be my main shit because me and I like me and my homies. We just we on a connection on a different level, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just it's, just, it's almost like an addiction to me. I just gotta have me and the homies. Like I just gotta have that time. It's, it's, it's something that. You know, something that releases out of me where I just have to have that time. Hey, look, I couldn't have said it better myself, bro. Like, you know, <laughs> you know I got to go to number two first. Hey. <laughs> What's that bump number one? Hey, because number two made me hot, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> bro, I, could, I couldn't. Look, I'm telling you, she don't even have no chance, bro. Like, she don't even. I, I, she, bro, I wouldn't even entertain <laughs> Shorty if I, can't, if I can't hang with the boys at all. Oh, Over, bro. Oh, wow. no way. I, I can't even entertain Shorty. Like, it's not even an opportunity for me and her to have anything. Like, I want to be really clear about that. You <laughs> Crystal know clear. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but the you know, other one, I let you have that. Because I really, you know, well, I, I probably got two sets of friends myself. You know, not really two sets. But I got, a, I got you know, a best friend uh, that's local. And then, and, you know, then I got the, I got the, I got an, another really, really, really good friend that's that's not here, that's not local. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I don't know, man. I generally, I, I probably got to see, bro. I don't know. I don't see him very often, to be honest. But, you know, I just need to get my time in with whoever in town. Because most of the time, somebody be coming into town from yeah. somewhere or something. So, right. Uh, you know, I just got to get my time in, man. The weekend, really Friday and Saturday, bro, like, you, I need that stress relief. Now, now there are some times where where the, you, you know your significant other can come and it'd be a good time, but yeah. there there's some yeah. times where I'm like, look, man, look, it's the boys. Yeah. It's just the boys. Like you can't be there. Yeah. Like you know, yeah. like you just can't be there this time. You yeah. know, and ain't, that nothing, ain't nothing going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really just it's really just the, the fellas boys, hanging yeah. out. Just the boy. I, I probably want to talk about you a little bit to the boys. Yeah. You know? hey, look, right. look, you look. Know how, how many times you done told a little white lie? So, uh, <laughs> so, so your girl wouldn't even want to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, man, man. Ain't no other girls gonna be there, so ain't no, ain't no need you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, man, you know, man, you know, buddy be smoking and stuff, man. You don't want to get that stuff. You don't want to get any of your hair, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> hey, man, Vince told me there wasn't going to be no girls here, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, he said it was just going to be strictly the fellas. I ain't know that, though. So, yeah, so I, so, yeah I, I'm going to need you to sit this one out. Yeah. <laughs> for real, man. And, but I think, Lo, for real, like, I think that girls, like, 
girls don't understand because, you know, girls, you know, they, they hang with their girls and all that, but I never heard a girl say, I gotta have my girl time. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, like, that's hold true. On, hold on, how they say all this? I gotta have my girl time. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, I don't hear nobody like, man, you know, that's a deal breaker because I gotta hang with the girls. We, we gotta get together and, you know, whatever they do. You know what I'm saying? I don't hear that. Nah, the, you know the, the girls kind of like when when you get with the, it's crazy because when you get with the girl, seems like she kind of she kind of take over your friends a little bit. Like your friends become her friends. Uh, you yeah, know what I'm it's crazy though because I feel like girls just drop whoever. Like say all of us single. This is just hypothetical. I'm doing using my air quotes. We all single right now. We go out and we all meet uh, three different girls, and they can have like seven friends. All of a sudden, those friends don't exist no more. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened to them, but now that girl just wanted to be with me and be underneath me the whole time. That's it. That's it. All for real. And I, I don't All understand real. that. Like, that's so right. weird to me. Like, what? Oh. what? Don't lose yourself in, in EJ. Bro, that happens yeah. all the time, man. And then they be like, then they start complaining to you, man, I don't have no friends. I don't have nobody I can hang with. When you want to go off with the boys, what am I supposed to do? I ain't got nothing to do with that. You better yeah. find something. To do. <laughs> what, you, what you want me to do? I ain't tell you to stop talking to everybody in your whole life because of me. You know what I'm saying? I don't got nothing to do with that. You don't blame me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing to do with hey, that, man. That, 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 this whole topic get me get me hot, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm warm too because too, man. Look, anybody that know me know I got a, the boys is, is just my go-to. Like I don't even chilling in the house, bro. It was, it'd be a great time. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. I kind of want to switch gears just a, a tad bit. And it's still talking about the fellas. But, again, Dave said this a few episodes back. You know, we think we cool. And I don't care what nobody else <laughs> say. Oh, yeah. I think I'm cool, too. So, what is it about our group and to what you just said earlier that just the yo, that girl want to make the fellas her, her fellas now? Man, I think all right. So for all my dudes, all the dudes out there, man, y'all probably can, y'all can relate to this. Like, man, you just you got a little bit of everything. Like, you got the 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 funny guys. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? You got the more serious, deep thinkers in the group. You got everybody working. Everybody got a job. Everybody taking care of their business. Um, it just kind of infectious to be around. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's like, man. Man, my you know my whole girl ain't doing nothing with her life, bro. She got this crazy dude she talking to, like it's just right. You know what I'm saying? You're like man, ain't she don't got nothing going on. I'm gonna hang with you. I'm gonna hang with you and your boys. You know what I'm saying? Y'all a good time. Ain't no drama. Y'all not out fighting people every day. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like I don't know. I think it's kind of it's kind of infectious. It really, you know, this is a secret. Uh, this is why I really hang with y'all so tight. Just so y'all know. <laughs> Uh, here come the truth. It's top uh, secret right here, y'all. Uh, y'all do the work for me. All I gotta do is get a girl and bring her to the spot, and then let y'all let y'all do the heavy lifting. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then when y'all leave, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She's like, damn man, they so cool. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I appreciate that. Y'all threw me some logs. Y'all didn't even know y'all. Y'all didn't know y'all were throwing me. So I appreciate that. But I, I, I mean, I have to agree because I mean, just analyze the situation. Anybody that that's hung, but especially like with with us, like our group, you know, we have like our own little uh, clique. Like anybody that's hanging with our clique, I mean, just look what we do. We all we all fresh, fly, you know what I mean. Um, we all cool. We have banging personalities, and that you know that's a, a, a definitely a tension seeker. You know what I'm saying for for females, like we all have banging personalities. You know what I'm saying. We you know what I'm saying. We all drive amazing cars, you know what I'm saying, like, ain't nobody got no, like, just a nice car, like, our whole clique, you know what I'm saying, what we have, we got two Mercedes, and this, and this clique, what we got, two Mercedes, three BMWs, and a Challenger, what, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and you know, when you say it like that, that just <laughs> sounds pretty cool, man, I never even thought about it like that, and I, I ain't bragging or nothing, you know what I'm saying, but, yeah, yeah, when you, if, if, if you coming in from outside, and you, and you, you know what I'm saying, you, you see the parking lot, you like, Oh, 
Like, you Who's know not here? Like, what's up with these cats? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Every time we get together, we have a good time. Ain't nobody arguing. Ain't nobody, like, getting loud with each other. You know what I'm saying? We get together. We always got two, three uh, good, good top chef bottles of liqueur on that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was just about to say that, too, man. You, you never leave thirsty when you come around. You know what I'm saying? We got liqueur on deck. You know what I mean? I ain't talking about, like, know one bottle and we all trying to just nickel and dime with the bottle. <laughs> hey bro, hey, 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 you gotta shot this out, bro. This all this, <laughs> this all we got. If you wanna drink some of that top shelf Henny or Crown or you know what I'm saying, Tron, whatever we feel like drink, like have at it, bro. Like it's, you ain't gotta have put in on the bottle or nothing. You know, if you come in and you would uh, like like drink up. You know what I'm saying? Have, yeah. have, have a good time. You know, we play good games. Like we don't have like how many times have we had insiders come in, we ain't even went out. We ain't even went to no bar. We ain't went to nobody's, you know, hookah bar, no club or nothing. We just stayed in and had, you know what I'm saying, a time of our life. Everybody, everybody lit. Everybody about to have a good night with their significant others. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's like, true, man. Yeah. I, I think we just throw a good party. You know, we get Dave on the grill. <laughs> <laughs> I was on there last time. You and Vince did y'all thing. Yeah, we get a, get a couple bottles going. Dave, get that music going. And spark that hookah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, nothing. Yeah, we get right. We do all right. We we definitely do, man. We definitely do. I think, and it's not to say the other groups of dudes ain't cool. I think we just we we got a lot to offer, man. Yeah, especially when you talk about like there's different type of guys and, and females. Yeah. When, when you talk about when you talk about people that's to the level of like where we're at, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying we're above nobody or beneath nobody, but when you start seeing things the way through the glasses that we're looking through, mm-hmm. you, you can't you can't ask for much just for a Friday or Saturday night, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, <laughs> you feel me though, Daddy? Like, yeah. you can't ask. You, you, I, mean, I mean, unless we're millionaires, you can't ask for too much for what we offering, you feel me? Yeah, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you, man. That's how you get you get these kind of little hangers on that don't be trying to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like if I was a if I was a girl coming in, like say if I was a girl coming in and like mess with one of y'all, I'd be like, look, girl, listen, I'm telling you, you next time I go over there, you need to come with me because. <laughs> they ain't no, they ain't on no regular stuff. I'm trying to tell you, you just got to see it. To, you got two or three. <laughs> you gotta come check this out for yourself. For real, man. For real. That's what's up, man. I was just thinking, though. I was sitting here thinking. Do you think that like our our pops <laughs> kind of feel the same way? Like, you think your dad be like, man, I gotta have some fellas time, bro? Or you think, hey, man, you think my daddy do the same thing? Yeah, that's why he bold. Oh, know, true. I, I think I think he bold because he like it, but he also bold because. That's time and get to chill with the boys and get away from, you know, Val. Yeah. It's, it's simple, especially after what they've been married, about 33, 34 years or something like that. Yeah, they've been married for a while. I'm 28, so I know it's been longer than 28 years. Right, so at that length of time, you you think we crying for fellas' time? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm going to need a fellas' retreat or something. Like, <laughs> good gracious, you feel me? Yeah. I know my dad the same way, bro. First of all, he think he cool, so yeah. he be trying to go out and stuff. Coming that, coming that afro back, <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro had the same comb, bro, since I've been alive, man. I don't know how he ain't lose that comb yet. <laughs> bro, that just smooth back, yeah. That's it. Yo, I, remember, I remember the last time he came by the house, yo. Like I never seen your daddy like that, yo. He cracked me up, bro. Like yo. Yo, he cool, bro. Bro, just want an audience, man. Nah, he not. Bro, he's not cool. Bro, Y'all just laugh at his little corny jokes. Bro, you be hating on him, yo. He cool, man. <laughs> bro, <laughs> he he is bro. cool. They ain't be I, hating on him. I don't be hating on him, bro. Look, he, cool, he, he corny funny. That's what he is. Y'all mistaken corny funny for cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do the same thing. You think you think Hammer be funny. Hammer is funny. No. Nah, Hammer <laughs> hilarious, though. Bro, yeah, Hammer, hey, now. if y'all ain't never met EJ Daddy... Nah. Bro, I'm telling y'all, all our listeners out there, make it a point. <laughs> like, like, bro, go out your way to go meet this dude, bro. He is so funny, bro. Now, I will say, the first five to ten minutes, you may not understand every word. But 
once, once you catch it on, you'll get dialed in, bro. <laughs> you gonna have you weak. Bro, gonna have you weak, man. I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> That's good. That's good, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look, man. Y'all got any uh, any final thoughts before we before we wrap this joint up, man? Nah, man. Um, I'm just I'm just chilling, man. Life life going pretty swell for a brother right here, man. Got some I got some good news brewing up in the pot, man. So uh, you know I, I hope hold that you know what I mean uh, come up with some beef stew for a brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's beef stew brewing. You know what I mean? So we'll see how that goes. But besides that, man, everything's good. Um. You know, the sun's about to be out, so shoot, I'm about to crank the bike back up. I've been, I've been riding throughout the winter, but, you know, it's really about to be bike time now, so. Hey, it looked like on Facebook, I saw you trying to sell it. You trying to do something with it. Yeah, man, so I'm, I'm undecided. So either I'm going to sell on my current bike or I'm going to get it painted. So um, I, I don't know. It just depends on how, you know, how the wind blows. Yeah. So we'll see how that go. But, yeah, it's time now, bro. It's time. Yeah. I got my dirt bike yesterday, man, so I'm Not about to get that yeah. joint all brewed up. Chill, chill, man. Cut it out. <laughs> day, for real day. He ain't oh, seen it. I ain't seen it. He told me he need help with it, but do then I told him. To, do you even know how to ride? I mean, look, I do all right. <laughs> I went and test drove it a few weeks back, and then I finally uh, decided to go ahead and get it, man. Is it, does it, is it shift gears and all that? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's, got, it's a four speed, but it, it, get up, it get up to about 75 miles per hour is what they say. Uh, I'd rather not say on the air, but I got it for uh, for the low. Oh, okay, all right, all yeah. right. So, for, so when people say that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It yeah, was definitely over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, people can't wait to talk about a good deal, though. You know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got it for a good deal. Shout out to my man Pat over at Enterprise, man. Bro, looked out for me. If y'all need a new car. Go see my man Pat, yo. Pat Rayner down in Fayetteville. He get you hooked up. Even if you ain't in Fayetteville, hit Enterprise. him up. He, he can work something out for you, man. Enterprise. Yeah, Enterprise. Holla at the player when you see him in the streets, man. Yeah, yeah, shout out to my man Pat. He, he deserved that, this shout out right here. He looked out for me. That's why, So that's why you got the truck? Yeah, I had the truck for that joint. Yo, I got it yesterday, and Pat looked out for me. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you sent us some pics, man. I ain't even know. But, yeah, I'm a, when I get down there, you best believe I'm going to see what she can do. You probably, you probably going to old Miss Daisy with her. I'm going to crank her one time and see what she can do. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell it, uh, Nike, I say, yeah, I just wait for Vince to get here, man. He, he'll uh, open it up full speed. I can't hurt myself right now not know what I'm doing. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I'm going to jump right on. Huh? Man, you bulldog. I'm going to allow to jump down this uh, uh, Saturday. Why you playing? He yeah. ain't going to do nothing. Yeah, he talking. Yeah, he ain't going to do nothing. He just talking. Nothing. Yeah, whatever. Uh, you, right, we were catching Raleigh again like we did last weekend or weekend before last what weekend that was. Well, yeah, we'll see you in Raleigh. Vince can't try. Did, did I come or what? Did I come? Well, you were supposed to come to Greensboro, but we'll say that for off the air. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to bore our listeners with that. Dave, what about you, man? What you got? What uh, you got? You know, uh, I finally get my feet up under me, you know, working these two jobs. I ain't used to being the McDuffie, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 Having all these jobs. Well, you know, I, I finally got my feet up under me, you know, so now, you know, uh, just trying to bounce back and, uh, you know, financially and all that. But, you know, I'm geeked about these uh, these brackets I put in, though. I'm probably going to win some money off something from somewhere. For real? So, yeah, man. First of all, you know, sports is my thing. So yeah, I, yeah. I know I'm gonna win me some. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up with like ten. I'm, I'm at least win a hundred dollars from somebody. One of these brackets. I mean, I'm in like three pools though. Oh, that's yeah. what's up. So. Hey, did you take Middle Tennessee? Nah, they messed me up already off gate, man. Yeah. I saw that today. I was yeah. pissed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was pissed. But I picked uh, I picked that. It was an upset yesterday. I want to say. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll, that's another podcast for another day. We'll talk about that in detail. But oh yeah, last thing though, I wanted to say, man, make sure y'all leave y'all comments about topics that y'all may want us to talk about um, down in the comment section. Um, let us know your your thoughts. We are very open to criticism, critiquing all that sort of thing. So don't be shy. Um, you know, we'll we'll love to uh, you know to, to get some ideas, some fresh ideas. But we got some fire. Brewing up, like Vince was saying in the pot. <laughs> some beef stew. Baby. We, we beef stew. Yeah, we still getting better. So uh, just just keep a lookout every every Wednesday. We dropping. So just check us out. 
Yeah, and to that point, we um we had a lot of requests for for being a guest on the show. At this time, we're not really uh really looking to to bring anybody on, but definitely stay tuned. We we appreciate all the support and the love, and definitely share this on your timelines with your friends, cause you know we just three guys dropping nuggets out here. So you know, and just hoping that you can glean what you can glean from us. So with that being said, we out. Peace. Peace. All right, y'all.